Hello and welcome to another episode of tutorials on how to destroy wolf castles. So one of the nastiest wolf castle there is, is this one. Which I don't know if it can ever be killed with one attack and without captains. To destroy this wolf castle, you need to use two attacks on it. One is this one, so we are going to make that you need you need 50 pikemen only and no catapults. So 450 archers and 50 pikemen, right? So this is the attack, wave one. So you want around nine or eight pikemen in front of each of these swordsmen here. So you want here, 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 and here, and here. Uh, you want this pikeman. Also, you want four pairs of pikeman in here to tip off these oil pots on top of the wall. Here's the first attack. You can see all the pots are built here. And. You could definitely replace some of these archers with the catapults if you want to. But the goal is that clearing all these areas in front and, and until here out of all enemy troops. So at the end it should look like this. So there is no troops here. The second attack is 200 archers, 220 pikemen, and 80 catapults. And the attack looks like this, the second wave. So you can see the archers are filling this side. They are more on this left side, there are some on the right side. Then we have pikemen, 10 of them in the center. Most probably to tip off these spots here. And the rest of them behind them. Then we have the catapults. So the first row, they are all aiming inside of the keep. To destroy the people inside the keep. The second row is aiming also inside the keep. As much as they can. The third row, the first one is aiming for the catapult and on the left, the rest are aiming for the keep. And the last one on the third row also aims for here. And then the second, third and fourth uh, catapults at the back row also aim for the left, the rest aim for the keep. And here also the three of the last ones on the left side at the fourth row. Three on the last row, on the fifth row. Three aim for the catapults and three for this cat three for these uh, ballistas. Three aim for the ballistas on the left side and three aim for the ballistas on the right side. The distance between the catapults and the line here is eight. So eight eight pikemen at the back. We have this. So here is the result. They succeeded. So you can see most of the people in the center are dying from the catapults. And you are left with 80 catapults, 163 pikemen and 64 archers at the end of it. Okay, that's all for this episode. Thank you for watching and until the next one.